franchises are really looking for people to bring in a good six-figure income on their businesses there. So they're going to give you the population density needed to do that sort of thing. So it's, you know, conceivable. You're listening to Carrie Lutz's Financial Survival Network, where you get valuable information you just can't find anywhere else. To thrive in today's trying times, you need the Financial Survival Network now more than ever. Go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com and get your free newsletter and gift. Financial Survival Network, now more than ever. And welcome. You are listening to the Financial Survival Network. I'm your host, Kerry Lutz. Well, uh, many of you out there, uh, real estate investors, etc., looking for other ways to invest. Real estate prices are at all-time highs in so many markets. And Greg Moore, you are the franchise maven. So what uh, what motivates most of your clients to really start looking at franchises? Eric, a couple of different things. One is uh, diversification. So getting another stream of income is really, I would say, probably one of the biggest things that people are looking to uh, uh, get into a franchise with. Uh, the other one is just getting out of the corporate world for that. Uh, and because they don't want to do the corporate world anymore. But my investors, especially my real estate people, they're really looking to diversify into something that they're somewhat familiar with. And with the real estate, most of them are somewhat familiar with a lot of the uh, home type services franchises that go along with real estate. All right. So what kind of home type franchises uh, do you connect people with? The uh, popular ones is this uh, last year or last couple of years have been uh, HVAC, heating, air conditioning, ventilation, plumbing, mm. electrical services, and a lot of the restoration services as well. All right. I noticed something in the show notes about handyman services. To find a good handyman, uh, they're getting paid more money than ever, $30, $40, $50 an hour. And uh, it's no longer uh, the guy from uh, that TV show, Sh- Schneider. He was the uh, yeah. super, the handyman. Now they really, they really got to know something and they got to be qualified. They do. The franchise is going to help you find those people. So handyman services, lawn care services are very simple, easy operations to do on that. Uh, so those are really good. And again, the franchise is going to help you find the people so they don't you don't necessarily have to know how to find your employees. A lot of the good franchises not only help you find employees, but they'll also help you find clients as well, providing call centers so mm-hmm. that you're not fielding the calls all the time. You just get up in the morning or your manager does if you want to run a semi-absentee. And they yeah. have a schedule, and they just look down the schedule, see you and anything they call upon that are looking for their services. Uh, okay, so what's the cost to get into these home service franchises? Generally speaking, that you're looking at around $150,000 total investment, give or take, depending on if, if you need any equipment on that. Franchise fee for most every franchise uh, around is right around $50,000 itself. And the rest of it is just going to be the total investment, which includes advertising, marketing, a small office, if you need it, again, mm-hmm. any equipment that you may need. What's the success rate on these? Success rate on most of the franchises I work with, or actually all the franchises I work with, are about 85, 90% or better. We look for that, and you can see that in the franchise disclosure documents. They'll have a list of the franchisees who are currently running the operation and a list of the franchisees who started the operation and are no longer running it. Pretty simple math to get the success rate. And again, 85 to 90% or better. Uh, that's, that's pretty impressive there. And uh, what's the uh, non-franchise uh, failure rate or success rate? A lot less than that. I don't keep track of that too much, but I know that privately owned businesses are a bigger challenge. I actually had a privately owned dry cleaning business at one point in time and storage units. And I can tell you doing it yourself, uh, well, it has its benefits. Uh, you know, definitely franchising is not for everybody, but having to do it yourself and come up with everything is a lot more challenging to me than having a franchise system who's already done that in the past and has got that proven track record of success on that. So private businesses fail uh, quite a bit more frequently than franchises do. So let's talk about returns. Uh, What kind of return can you realize on your 150,000 average investment? Franchises are really looking for people to bring in a good six-figure income on their businesses there. So they're going to give you the population density needed to do that sort of thing. So it's, you know, conceivable you know, 20, 25%. Uh, some of the ones that are a little bit less cost intensive we could bring upwards of above 50%. I know that the repairing uh, of leather, vinyl, uh, plastic type things, those are really high, uh, higher than 50% on a return on investment because there's not a lot to them on that. Uh, and you charge the people a good amount of money 
because there's a lot of uh, folks, uh, businesses especially, that need you know plastic leather vinyl repair. So, hey, what states are we looking at? What are the most popular states for people opening franchises? Most of the people I get, I get actually people from all across the United States and just about every state around. The only ones I don't get a whole lot of people from are Alaska and Hawaii mm-hmm. and that. But the most popular ones, direct answer to your question, I get a lot of people from the East Coast and the Southern states. Uh, if you're looking to move somewhere to where you want to look at a uh, better state to move into, if you want to open your business in Texas or Florida with no sales mm-hmm. tax uh, or no state tax, excuse me, sure. are, uh, are good ones to look into. Uh, but I get people from all all across the United States, and actually, I get some people all over the world as well. Yeah. So, give it. A, tell us one of your best success stories. Somebody you took uh, who really never done this before and made a major success. Yeah, that'd be probably I'd say Ben and Trish. Um, they were just real estate investors, and you know they were looking to diversify. Typical thing, and they knew real estate, so they actually, interesting enough, they wanted to diversify into a. Um, a brewery. They thought that would be the best thing in the world because, you know, that's a lot of fun going into a brewery. Yeah. I always enjoyed it and hanging out there. I said, well, that's good. Now, let's take a look at that. And what are your other interests? What are the other things you do? And they said, well, we invest in real estate. And I said, okay, well, how about something that's real estate related, something that you know a little bit more about? And they said, we'll take a look at them, but we'll really want the brewery. So we took a look at the brewery and we took a look at uh, plumbing. We took a look at uh, electrical, uh, HVAC, handyman mm-hmm. services. And they ended up, well, it's kind of funny, Katrice was kind of in the background for a while, and Ben was saying he's going to do it, and he's going to do a semi-absentee, he's going to get a manager to run it. And what ended up happening is at the end, Trish just stepped up, and she said, you know, I run all the rental properties. She said, we're not going to run this semi-absentee, let's get into that electrical services franchise, and I'm going to be the one that does it. And they, you know, they just did it a few months ago, and they're really taking off right now and doing just exceptional. They'll probably be rookies of the year this year. That's a great story. So, uh... So what skill level, what skills do you look for in your clients to be sure that they're going to succeed? One major skill, Harry, is, is, is all that's needed. Is you got to be coachable. That franchise has done it before. They've got that game plan in place. You're not reinventing the wheel. So as long as you're coachable, the franchise will teach you how to do everything else on that. Uh, basically, the wheel is, if you wanted to reinvent it, you would have got into a private business and done it yourself. Yeah, so you don't need to reinvent the uh, egg McMuffin, right? Exactly, Gary. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, and then as far as financing these things go, most people just invest the one fifty in cash or financing. How do they do that? Uh, it's been about fifty fifty this year, Carrie, on that one. And now maybe a little bit in cash, probably a couple of people in cash, but for the most part. I've gotten people that have either uh, financed it. SBA loans are very simple, especially with the service industry. Uh, you can get the uh, one of their quick start loans, about $150,000, their express loan. For that, the SBA express loan, can get it done in probably about a month or so on that one with very reasonable rates out there. Uh, and then and that's quite a few of my investors really like other using other people's money for that. Uh, and then I actually had a bunch of people, probably about uh, almost half of them, that actually used their own money out of their 401k or IRA and did a self-directed 401k or IRA uh, where they just moved that 401k money from a previous employer over to a self-directed IRA. And they just used that money then to invest in their business, uh, not going cool. into debt that way. All right. All right. Well, hey, we appreciate you coming on. Just tell us where do we find you, Greg? You can find me at, at franchisemaven.com. That's franchise, M A V is in Victor, E N.com. Greg at franchisemaven.com, or just pick up the phone and give me a call at 361 772 6401. All right. And the link is in the show notes to this interview on financialsurvivalnetwork.com. Make sure you sign up for your free newsletter. You got a question for Greg or myself, shoot me an email, kl at kerrylutz.com. Greg? Pleasure. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you for having me, Carrie. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to Carrie Lutz's Financial Survival Network, your solution to today's trying times. For the latest, go to FinancialSurvivalNetwork.com. Financial Survival Network, now more than ever.